Hey, hey, Eric, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm doing good. Okay, very well. And also, I'm doing good. I'm, I'm doing good also. I want to say something. I want to apologize because the last last weekend I couldn't be in class because of the work. I had to work last week on, at night, so I couldn't connect myself to um, the classes. So that's what I that's what I, I wasn't present here and taking the classes. No problem, Eric. The important is, you know, it, it, we have to work to pay the bills, right? There's nothing we can do about it. So yeah. Sometimes even if we even if we don't want to, we have to. Yeah, but I'm here willing to learn all as usual, and I'm and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna and I'm gonna achieve my goal as at the end of this train this first. Excellent, excellent. And how's how are things at work? Uh, do you have a new project or more activities or what's going on? No, it's just uh, things are there, there are some new trainings, so we have to. Uh, prepare some material and give some classes. Do go, do some classes from my colleagues in order to to train to train them to train in them to for a new position. Oh, okay. And what's the new position? Well, at the airport, it's uh, it divided in different sections. So mm -hmm. one of the sections when you uh, in the airplane call asking some kind of clearance or permission so then you give the permission orally they for example you just tell the crews whether they're going to fly how are they going to fly at what altitude they are going to climb and some other thing like that in which way they are going to take right you are traffic controller right you're atc eric yes yes Aha, Eric, that's good. Maybe later on, it's, it's good to know. That way, if I have a question, I can ask you. Okay. I'd, I will be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's because I, 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 I'm writing a book for, uh, uh, for okay. pilots. And, the, and there's a lot of ATC conversations. And I know some of it as for pilot, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, requesting um, or ILL's uh, approach and, you know, like there's some things, but there's always, it's always better to ask yeah. somebody or, or to check with somebody from which works really in this area to make sure that the information is correct because the idea is that the book should be used um, for, the, for Latin American pilots, especially the ones here, in order to help them get their... Okay get their license from the FAA and to be able to pass their English exams. Yeah. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting. It's a pleasure to help you. Thanks, Eric. You see, yeah, it, it's a small world. You, you never know who you're going to need. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right. Hey, I see we got Sandra and Stephanie and Elias. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. That's the first so good. Pretty good day, Sandra? Yes. All right. I woke um, up very early in the morning because I went to church at 4.30 in the morning. Wow. Why so early, Sandra? Because we are commemorating Immaculate uh, Virgin. Mm -hmm. I, yes, and we are praying in the morning just at 5 a.m. for nine days for nine days at 5 a.m yes that's amazing yeah mm. i did yeah i'm glad i'm glad at 5 a.m i'm i'm sleeping i'm snoring <laughs> I, I don't i'm not even thinking of, mm -hmm. yeah but you know the good thing is that it, it it's a spiritual the idea so the idea is to you know uh, to use this season and strengthen your your ideas and your conviction and that's the most important yeah mm -hmm. okay 
All right. Well, we got a couple more people here. Hope everybody's doing good. Yesterday we were looking at present perfect, um, and uh, we were also looking at the continuous forms. Okay. So first, are there any questions about sorry uh, present perfect and the simple past? Um, are there any questions about the present perfect and the simple past? I know for some of you that were not available. I put in the WhatsApp group also a few extra links to practice. But I just want to make sure, are there any questions? No. No teacher. Okay. Well, today we're going to be continuing and it's going to be um, looking at the perfect, but it's going to be the present perfect and it's going to be the present perfect continuous. Now, I, I'll show you a little screenshot. I think it'll make it easier for you to see and understand my explanation. And the idea is this, okay. When we use the present perfect continuous is that it's still happening. It's not finished at the moment. Okay, that's the present perfect continuous. When we're talking about the present perfect is we're just focused on the action that happened before. Okay, so if we look at this timeline, okay, from the past to now, and you can see that this line represents the action. And the action is not finished and the action is supposed to continue. That's going to be the present perfect continuous. In the second form, when we have the present perfect is that the same idea, but the timeline is here. Anywhere here is gonna be an X because the idea is that the action is just happened. Okay, it's not that it continues to happen. It only that the activity happened one time or multiple times, but the focus is on that. So the continuous is that you still do it even if it started in the past. And the perfect is only that it has happened. Okay, that's going to be the difference. So what do we have? We have the idea, for example, Eric. Eric has been studying English for, you know, whatever amount of time. That's the present perfect continuous because he started in the past and yet he still continues. Now, Eric can also say, I have studied high school. This is the present perfect because it's not continuing to study the high school. Only he did this, or he can say, I have graduated from high school. You only graduated one time. It's not a continuing action. It only happened one time. I don't know if that those examples help you to understand a little bit better the, the perfect and the continuous. Can you give uh, more examples, please? Of course. So um, let me think. Hang on. Um, Angela, was that you that asked? Yeah. Okay, so Angie, what, uh, you're studying at the university, right? Yes. Okay, so because you are still studying, you started this action before, maybe this year, maybe last year, it doesn't matter. It only matters that you started before. This is going to be the continuous. So in your case, I would say Angela has been studying at the university, at, sorry, at the university. Okay, Angela has been studying at the university and then I can put information, for example, for two years, for five months, for, you know, since 2001, I can add that extra information. Okay, that's where we can add the time, but it's not a specific one. Okay? Now, the present perfect is only focusing on an activity that you have done, not necessarily that you are doing. So, um, Angela, have you gone swimming? Yes. Have you gone surfing? No, I have never. Okay, those are the two that we can use. Because this action has never happened in the past, you would put, I haven't gone surfing, right? And the other one, because you did do it, is I have gone swimming. That means that the action happened. We don't know when it happened, we only know that this action happened in the past, but it's not that you are continuing to do the action. And that, you, you, that you, is? That's the perfect. That is the present, 
present perfect is that the action happened, okay? And that's the focus. Um, Angela, are you, you are in the WhatsApp, right? Yes, I am in the group. Okay, so hang on. That way you don't get confused between it. This is the idea when we use it. When is the, um, in the WhatsApp, you can check right now, is when do we use the present perfect? We use it in those situations. The continuous is going to be different that we use it because the action still is happening. Okay. okay. That's why it says continuous, right? <laughs> correct, correct. Because it's the, the idea is that it's unfinished. Whenever you hear continuous, it doesn't matter the time. It doesn't matter present, past, perfect, but it just means that the action is not finished. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. And when you hear the present perfect, it's just that they always, always the perfects are that the action happened before. So sometimes you're going to hear the names, for example, future perfect, or you're going to hear present perfect, or you're going to hear uh, past perfect. The perfect, the idea of perfect is only it happened before that. So as an example, um, the present perfect, the action happened before the present. The future perfect, the action is going to happen before that time in the future. The past perfect, the action happened before whatever, whatever time you're talking about in the past. So the perfect always means action happened before. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So now we're going to watch a small video uh, where we can see, compare and contrast the idea for the present perfect continuous. Okay. Wait, I don't... All right, can you see my screen? Yep. Okay, perfect. Is the following question the same as in the previous section? Listen carefully. How long have you been studying English? Use the present perfect continuous to describe temporary situations and actions that are not yet completed. The present perfect describes permanent situations and recently completed actions. A dog has been stealing all the attention temporary situation. I've always surfed with my dog. Permanent situation. Mai has been amazing visitors by painting for her supper. Not yet completed action. I've locked my keys in the car. Recently completed action. Use the present perfect with the passive or with stative verbs such as be, love, and have. He's always loved it. Present perfect versus present perfect continuous. When do we use the present perfect tense? We use the present perfect tense to talk about things where there is a connection between the past and the future. For example, he started writing books at some time in the past. So far, he has written 16 books. He may write more books. Let's go over some sentences. I have painted the living room blue. The focus is on the result. The activity is finished and we can see the result now. Now let's go over this other sentence. I have been decorating the house this summer. The focus is on the action, decorating, and the action is unfinished. In other words, we can say that we use the present perfect continuous when the focus is on activity that is unfinished. Let's see more examples and analyze them with me. I read the book you lent me. I finished it yesterday. The present perfect I read gives the idea of completion. I've been reading the book you lent me. I've got another 50 pages to read. The present perfect continuous I've been reading suggests that something is unfinished. She's been writing emails for three hours. The present perfect continuous has been writing talks about how long something has been happening. She has written 10 messages. The present perfect has written talks about how much or how many have been completed. I worked here for 30 years. We can use the present perfect to talk about how long when we view something as permanent. I usually work in LA, but I've been working in San Francisco for the last three weeks. The present perfect continues is often used to show that something is temporary. Can you tell the difference now? Did you understand it? To make sure you did, Type on our discussion box some examples using both tenses. 
Okay. Here we go. Do, does anybody have any questions about that? Oh, we can see the result now. Now let's go. I think the uh, most. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. The teacher, for example, always the 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 in present perfect continuous is always focused on the action. Right. And the other one on the result, the, the present perfect. Correct, because the, the, the idea is the present perfect. You think of it as present perfect finished and present perfect continuous unfinished. Okay. So uh, if, if you are cooking, okay, let's say you, you were you are cooking. If the food is finished, if you finish cooking, I have cooked. If the food is not finished, I have yeah. been cooking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Any other uh, questions or, or parts that you'd like to see to be sure? Okay, well, it sounds like everybody's pretty clear on it. Um, now I guess we just need to practice it. Okay, so what's really the idea between it? Well, the idea is that what is the difference between this and the simple past? Okay, or what is this, the difference between this and the present continuous? Well, the important part is that this is different because in those times we have a time we have a specification of when the action happened. In this case, we don't have a time. We don't know when the action started. We don't know when the action happened. Okay. So in the case of, um, in, in the case of the continuous, we only know that you started in the past and you are continuing now. In the case of the perfect, we only know the result. You did that action. That action was completed. Okay. But we don't know when it happened. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. Dana? Is it clear for me? Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. And we're making sure. So I just have a question. Yes, of course. In the person perfect, the time uh, we know when it finished or we don't know. In the present perfect, we don't know the, the time. In a specific time. Correct. It's unspecific. So a present perfect is only the result, only that the action happened. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, what I mentioned earlier, you can include it, but it's not necessary. And this is where you include it using words like for or since or, you know, or in, but it's not a specific time, okay? And this is usually only for the, the continuous, not for the, the perfect. So you can say, um, I have been teaching, okay? Because I continue to teach, but then I can give more information. I, can, I have been teaching for 20 years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or Eric, Eric has been working at the airport since 2015, I think he said. I, I don't remember, to be honest. 2000. 2000, sorry, since, since 2000. Okay. So you see, we, we can have some amount of time, but it's, it's never clear uh, or, or very specific, like at 7 o'clock or at 8 o'clock or something like that, or on May 7th or something like this. So what we're gonna do is if you are in your, or if you are on your computer, um, we are going to be practicing the difference between the present perfect and present perfect continuous in 2.5 in the platform. That is 2.5 in the platform. Um, if you are not, remember to share your screen with your partner so that way your partner can, and you can work on those activities together. Um, we're gonna make them small groups. So it's only gonna be two people in each group. Um, and, you know, we'll give you a few minutes and then we'll check to make sure everybody's clear.
You okay, Karen? That is the, because oh. we have an word, yeah. But you can go to a platform and check the exercise 2.5, just 2. now. 2.5? Yes. Okay. Uh, but I have to, to turn up my laptop because I don't have it with me right now. Okay, okay. Okay. I think uh, uh, it, 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 it's wrong. Yeah. I think in parentheses. <laughs> parentheses, exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. Ma many residents uh, homeless ever since last month's storm. Uh, many residents have been. Yeah, have been. Been homeless ever since last month's storm. Uh huh. Number two, they stay with relatives while their mom while their homes are being repaired. They they have been staying. You know they have been staying. Mm -hmm. All the crews repair the subway signals a week. I think this, this finish how Hello teacher they have been a stay yeah have been a stay in Ah that's true have been staying I think so It's not It's not, oh, not. it's my no. mistake Okay staying Yeah, it's right. Ooh, cool. The third one say, all crew prepare the subway signal all week. I think it will be with the... Um, How repair, have been repairing. Repair, I think that it will be repair. Also, okay. Eric, what happened? Nobody's here, just me. <laughs> just you. Yeah. Huh. And I don't know what happened with your partner. I'm doing the exercise by myself. Hang on, Eric. I'll send you to a group. There we go. They they for not even when their homes are being repaired. Yes, it says they stay with relatives while their homes are being repaired. Mm -hmm. In este caso ya terminó la acción. They stayed with relatives where they have have stayed. They have stayed. Um, no, it's with present perfect continuous. También no. Hombre, no, this is vale. with continuous. Ah. Que estaba leyendo en internet cuando es este. ¿Cómo se utiliza la verdad? Maybe we can continue. In blowing the roads all night, but some snow names. I don't know. I, I mean, it can be like an, an unfinished sentence, but at the same time, it said that. No, we can try with that, a finish. We can try. We can try both ways. We can try as a finish. Yeah. Workers have flowed. There was all night, but some snow remained. I don't know if you have uh, the sentence number one. 
because I think that you couldn't yeah. come with that. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to tell my answer. Maybe we can check okay. it together, for example. Because I... And then Yep. I already su sorry Eric. I already submit all the answers, but I have round two, three, and four. Okay. The exercise is about okay. identifying yeah, but I have, I the have right words. For opening the uh -huh. I have problem for opening the ah okay right now yeah in the number one me, uh, many residents homeless every single last month storm mm -hmm. uh, uh, so we have to complete in the space uh, using the verb to be in the number one yes the verb to be in the right the correct form in, in the correct it form present perfect or present perfect so it is solved. Teacher, we have some troubles right here. We thought that it was um, in perfect, present perfect. I haven't solved it. <laughs> but then it is not. The, the you're saying haven't, right? For no number four. Yeah, number uh, four. Yes. Uh, no, you are correct. Only um, try without the contraction. Oh, with the, with the contraction. Have not. Mm -hmm. Try have not. So. Oh, yeah, it's true. It's right. Thank mm -hmm. you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's see. There you go. Five. Yes. Police weren't stored that the tides have not rubbered yet. Okay. A specific time right here. It would be hopped, right? Just with it, the bird. Well, when you read the sentence, think about it. Um, are they still doing this action or did this already finish? If they are still doing, it's ing. If it's finished, then the verb with ed. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, perfect. I see. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So I think that it would be um, something that is happening right now. To be being the word. Show the pass of word. Have not word. Word. It's the same in past. Let's see. Ah, but it's not negative right here. No, I think, yeah, I think the sentence will, yeah, the sentence will be, um, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, Just with ed to the past tense and the past participle. Has been, it's not. So it will be, teacher, why this action having, um, like it's not happening and it will be, hap it will happen. And why is, is um, that like we have some specific time? Oh no, it, it, it's not. No, all right, let me help you out because I see you're having a little bit of confusion. Right? Okay, so whenever you use the verb been, the verb is with ing. Never, oh. you're, never you're going to have been and then the verb in past or past participle. So it's always going to be have been and the verb in ing. And the difference is that if you don't have been, you do not have the verb in ing. Mm -hmm. right? right? So always it's going to be have been and ing. Or it's not going to be uh, been, and then the verb is not going to have ing. The reason is is because um, the the second part of the sentence says that the thieves have been have not robbed yet. Mm 
So that means the yet means at this time. So if at this time they didn't rob it, the police continue to protect the stores. They continue to guard the stores. Okay, see. They could rob another day. Yeah, that's why the police, like, the, think about the buses in El Salvador. Not, it's not the stores, but the police guard the buses. <laughs> Yeah, the same thing. The police guard the buses uh, 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 um, that the thieves have uh, have not robbed yet, because always you see the police are go on the bus, but after the they have been reported and like uh, around Christmas or things like this, you see a lot of police on the buses. Hey, that's true. That's completely true. Okay. Stephanie, Danielle, any questions? Hello, teacher. Uh, no, I don't have questions. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't have any questions, teacher. Okay. I'm trying with Stephanie. Okay. And everything was okay? Vamos en la cinco. Okay, no problem, no problem. <laughs> you are number five, okay. Number five, teacher. And, and three and four. <laughs> and three and four, okay, all right. Um, okay, don't worry, we're gonna go back and we're gonna practice in just a moment and we're gonna continue practicing others. But uh, just a couple common mistakes that I wanted to stop you because I see many of you are getting some little bit of confusion and, and some errors where it's easy to remember. So uh, one of the tips that you need to remember is the fact that Always when you use the present continuous, sorry, the present perfect continuous, it's going to be, hang on, I'll put it into the chat here. Okay. And we're going to use the idea with ing. So it's always going to be have been plus ing. If you do not use the bin, then the verb is impossible to have ing. Okay, if you only use have, then it's only the past participle. And one more time. So, is don't think about it, it, it like, like a bin, it's have been. So it's the structure together. It's have been and ing, or it's have and past participle. And what's going to be the difference? This is where it comes a little bit more difficult because you have to think about the situation. If the situation was done, was finished, then it's going to be have. Is the situation still in the process or is the situation um, incomplete? Then it's going to be have been, okay? So for example, our class. Our class is incomplete. Even if I explained before, but it's incomplete. So we have been studying, okay? We have been studying the present perfect and present perfect continuous, okay? Yesterday, right, that's completed, right? So we have studied, we have studied the past simple. I didn't, it doesn't matter if it was yesterday, the week before or whatever, but that's going to be the difference. With one activity is complete, it's have. When the other activity is not complete, it's going to be have been. Now, we are going to go back to it with our partners and well, with new partners, and we're going to continue practicing. But now we're also going to use it in our conversation. In our conversation, we're going to talk about our life. What are the activities that you have done this year during the quarantine? What are the uh, activities or projects that you are working on or that are happening? Okay. So I know, for example, uh, Angela is studying at the university. Eric has been working a lot. Okay, that's what you want to do. You, you, we just want to go back and we're going to talk about, okay? So two things. First, if you didn't finish the exercises, complete them because always is good to complete the exercise to make sure that you are advancing and not falling behind the platform, okay? So first, complete that part of the platform. Second, 
when you and your partners complete it, talk about your life. What did you do in the quarantine? What has happened in the quarantine? What have you been doing now? What happened before? How was your life before the quarantine? Okay, talk about the actions. Remember, it's not about uh, regrets. It's not about things that you wish you could change. It's about results. What happened before? So before I have, um, I don't know, I have, I, I have uh, gotten a job. Okay, I have uh, finished my university. I have whatever it is that you did. I have, I have um, bought a house. Okay, maybe you bought a house. Maybe you, maybe it's a TV. You went to La Curacao and you got a TV from La Curacao. I have right before the quarantine. Bad, bad, but you know it happens. You bought it. Some people bought a cell phone. Imagine you bought a cell phone right before the quarantine for work, and then boom, this happened. So it doesn't matter. It can be positive or negative, but two things. Finish the platform, the exercise in the platform, and two, just talk about your life. Don't worry, because we use all of the tenses. Don't worry if you're using the right tense, the wrong tense. The idea is because there's a mixture of them. We use simple past. We use present perfect. We use present perfect continuous. We use the others. So don't it's not necessary only focus in one, just focus in speaking naturally about these situations. Speak about what you have experienced during the quarantine, speak about what's going on in your life now, and speak about what happened before the quarantine, okay? Are there any questions what you're going to do in your group? No for now, teacher. No, no, no. it's clearly, clear. clearly like or water. Ah, better than horchata. All right. I like it. I like it. Okay. All right. Let's do We're going to make a little bit bigger groups. We're going to try it. So let's. Like chocolate. Like chocolate. Mm, excellent. <laughs> like Limpa River. <laughs> there we go. No, we are not natives. <laughs> well, I know of Angela. About Angela. You know about me? Uh, Elias said that we are natives speaking. No, we are not. <laughs> I'm a Salvadorian, 100%. <laughs> no. So who is third? I don't know if everyone finished the sentences. Uh, using present perfect. How long, how long have you been taking courses with English Corporativos, Karen Daniel? Okay, well, in my case, I have been uh, in this course since last month. Last month was my first, uh, my first time here, and um, I feel, I feel nice. I feel exciting. I feel. Sometimes during the day that I need to practice more and study more for, because I like how the teacher give us the class and and how everybody participates. Mm, so, maybe maybe Oscar, I think you are watching the teacher. You are a JoJo. -Jo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the, I'm in the cell phone right now. Is he here right now? Yes. So I okay. I'm studying now here in Insaport and I have learned a lot and I feel that I am closer from my main goal for this year which is getting a job before December ends. Yes I, and I, really, I, I really I really understand you because that I also have that, that goal. <laughs> Okay. And uh, where have you been studying English? Always um where at in suburb. Uh, no, uh, I mean uh, last year. 
always in it support. Oh, okay. But the academy was I have finished my semester from my from the university. Nice. So it has been like a through a rush month and weeks. But okay. the end it was like gracious. Uh, where do you study? I study at UCA. <laughs> ah, nice. Okay. Uh, what you have you? You have been online. Yeah, everything has been online. Yeah, that's very. Uh, it's what? not factible. Yeah. It's not what? I don't know if I said it right. Just let me look <laughs> through the internet. Uh, it's not like workable. Oh, okay. I see. Workable or yeah, workable. Well, in my case, I have been doing the same just online. I haven't finished, but I think that it's more easy you know, to get the good scores on the online classes. I think that if you see the advantage and the disadvantage, you could see that it's better sometimes. For example, uh, uh, some some difficult for me but in this class I have been trying uh, to practice English talking with with you but mm. I think I'll I'll learn a lot of English with you and with my teacher Gran yo 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 Yes, yeah, no, you two are a pair of jojos. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Ooh. okay, okay, my friend. Have you been practicing that Daniel on the weekends for lunch time or something like that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's right. That's right, Oscar. No, I'm just I'm just asking that if you have been practicing. During the oh. weekend or at lunch with, 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 oh, yes. or maybe or maybe with your I haven't studied English like um for three years because I started to I started I let me think about it. Uh I started uh German German and well I I'm here because I I think I need to improve my English skills. And as you as as Eric was saying, like um, not only uh, improve the grammar or vocabulary, but also your speech, uh, talking talking like a native, you know. And yeah, yeah, and yes. Uh, I studied English. I've been studying English. Uh, since I was a teen at school. And also I studied at the University of El Salvador, 10 US. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's all. Yes. That's really good. And here we are. I had my first, but they're only accepting like a full-time employee. Yeah, uh-huh. So it's not like, Workable to in theory they offer you uh, a part time, but when you enter, uh, we have to wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have to wait uh, like three months or, or more. No, mm -hmm. they just can um, accept it. But it if depends on the account, I think, because sometimes they give the opportunity to work as a part time with uh, some. Or uh, maybe without so uh, with uh, without subtitle. Hmm. See, yes, 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 subtitle in English too. But when I when I see only only movies in English, um, sometimes I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand because uh, it's so affluent. It's so affluent the vocabulary, and and for 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 that I like to see. Uh, movies in English, but the subtitles, subtitles in English too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That helps a lot, right? 
Yes. Okay. So let's give it a, an example, Karen, with have plus past participle. Mm. Uh, this is uh, the present continuous or just the present? Yeah, low. I don't okay. know if I'm correct. Yeah. So, I think so. Uh, yeah, the English, the, the English, and uh, not only the English, also the languages um, really, really help you to, to, I don't know, to, to get a better job. To get a, to get a, yes, to get a good job. Oh, and, to be, right. and to get more opportunities. Have you tried yes, working um, at a call center? Or have you tried to take an interview there? Yes, actually, I have, I have had a lot of interviews uh, okay. from Concentrix. There were okay. like four interviews and I was, I, I can say that it was but I was a little uh, uh, so nervous, but, but I, I, I did it. So now, well, tomorrow I'm going to, to get a, like a drugs exam and a fixed physical exam. I don't know if I'm correct, teacher. Physical exam or test? No, the name is physical okay. exam, you're right. That name oh, okay. is physical exam. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And well, on December fifteenth, I'm going. I'm I'm going to start my my training. So I'm very happy for Medical that. Medical center. But, uh, Medical center. I mean. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's center. excellent. Actually, you should try it. How many you think? I so? will do it. How many you think so? I think I will do this or next week, but I'm waiting for for a friend that is going to, you know, to say it's going to refer me. <laughs> refer me. Okay, I'm waiting for a friend that will refer me, so I will get a a code number to enter it and and decide online the website i mean ah and that's why i'm just waiting okay good luck thank you <laughs> i hope this time you will be the the right one yes you will do it right you will do it excellent i hope so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I work as a teacher and Back. so as you know, because uh, the quarantine, I have been working online, mm -hmm. uh, giving my classes, but uh, because I work with a student that don't have the, the resources, so okay. I have to use the WhatsApp uh, and also the, the messenger to, to give them the, the what the... And how it has been. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult, but I've been working with them, trying to help them to get the the competences that they need to, to get the the what the diploma that they want. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You work in public uh, or I, I work part time. Oh, I see. It's a part time. Yeah, part the whole day. Uh huh. We we have been chatting the whole class okay uh, we have been discussing uh, mm -hmm. exercise 2.5 mm -hmm. remember how ah, for, for example for, ah, eh, este, hablando del ejercicio uh -huh. terminaron ustedes which one uh, no, 2.5 uh -huh, yes number five? Yes, we we what we is ended. in this case is a, is present perfect or present perfect continuous? Which one? Uh, five. For example. Five. Two, yeah, uh -huh. for example, on two point five number number which one you said? Five. For for me, number, it's number present five. perfect continuous. Yes, Does, have been have been guarding. Exactly. Uh, how been. Are 
guardian. Yeah. Also number six. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Also number six and number six and this uh, T shirt. What did, what's the meaning of plowing or, or plow? Plow P L O W. Uh -huh. It's something about like uh, asfaltar. Uh, it's like to remove the. Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. So like in the in the farms to plant the uh, the seeds, you need to plow. To, you need to remove, to remove the, the the land. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just for uh, for land. Uh, how do you say for para termino de la tierra for. Mm. Uh, not only, but the, the, the idea is to remove. So you can plow snow. For example, you have a snow and then you remove the snow, you plow land, you have the land and you remove it. You plow cars, you separate the cars. It's, it's, can that be used in the, in the skin, for example? Um, in the skin? Uh-huh. No, not in the skin. Mm -hmm. So me as a dentist, I cannot use that word for because I'd say I remove carriers from a, from a tooth, right? Correct, because plow is not remove, plow is separate. So okay. you, oh, separate. So, you, okay. uh -huh. so like if you have the, the land like this and you plow, you only separate the dirt. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that that way you can put the seeds in, in there. Okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so the, Daniel, number six. Hi. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right, guys. Great. Okay. So, and I know it's a little bit difficult sometimes, but it's more about practicing more than anything. It's, the idea is if, you know, we can use present perfect to talk about all of the activities that you have done in your life. Okay, that's all that that's you can think of it like that. I have gone to La Floresta, I have gone to uh, Santa Ana, I have visited uh, um, Apaneca. Anything that you did in your life that can use have. Okay, mm -hmm. and then the past participle. Anything that you are doing now, you can use have been. So I have been working at the airport. I have been studying at the university. I have been looking for a boyfriend. I have been dating my husband. Whatever you want, or you know, anything that you are doing is the have been. Anything that you did before, it's only the have. Okay, teacher. Okay. Tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and continue. We're gonna be looking at it again, reviewing and continuing on to. The, the news and information about the news and just practicing how to tell stories and how to use these structures in there. Okay. Uh, I will okay. Like, okay. Uh, I have a question. I will yeah, like, Angela. If you can help us, if you can help me to solve my my question is in the section two point five, the sentence four. It says that they still not solve the problems with long delays. Do not use contractions. No, no, no. It's, it's not that. It's okay. about uh, why is a, a present perfect sentence and not a present perfect continuous. Ah, uh, because the the problem is solved and not solving. If you have a solution, that's it. There is no possibility for it to continue. Continue. So, for example, um, the, my glass, <laughs> right? If I break it, that's it. It's not possible to continue breaking. So, the same thing for a, a problem. If you have the problem, uh, if you have a solution, the problem is fixed. You don't have the problem anymore. So, it's not possible to have this with a, a continuous form. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, so that's my question. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Great. You're welcome. All right, guys. I hope you have a great night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Have a great night. Okay. Thank you very really much for night. everything. Bye. You're welcome. Take care. Take care. Bye. 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 Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>